welcome back to my channel. It's Katarina and I hope you're having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. It's kind of going to be a transitioning into spring makeup tutorial where I'm going to focus on some pastel lavender shades on the eyes, a very bronze cheek but with pink bubblegum cheeks as well, and then a very kind of hot pink but still soft at the same time for the lips. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, so I already have my foundation on. I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation of the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. Then I'm going straight to my eye base. I'm using the City Color Shadow Primer. This is going to help lock in our eyeshadow. It's going to make them last all day. It also has a little bit of coverage, so it's going to help cover any veins or discoloration you have on your eyelids. Then I'm going to go in with this. It's, I'll have to link it down below because it doesn't really have a name on it, but this liquid shadow gives me life. I'm not really sure exactly if it, if it is a liquid shadow, but I'm just going to kind of sloppily put this on my eyelids and then I'm going to blend it out. This color is amazing. It doesn't crease and it just has a beautiful kind of like metallic-y gunmetal purple. So here I am just blending out the edges so that there's no harsh lines and it looks a little bit cleaner. Then I'm going to take a clean fluffy blending brush and just blend out those harsh edges at the very end just to make everything look very smooth and seamless. Then I'm going to take the Milani Bella eyeshadow in the shade Cappuccino with that same blending brush and I'm just going to really kind of blend that in the crease area again. This is going to be our transition shade. Next, I'm going to go on the Palladio Quad. This is like the star of the show. Let me know if you guys do that too, where you hold up two colors. I was trying to decide which one I wanted to do. So I ended up just mixing the two, the top right and the bottom left, with a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to pack this on the lid. These shadows have no fallout and they just are so pigmented and they're metallic but not too intense. They're just gorgeous shadows. Then I'm going to take the lightest shade which is kind of like an off-white pearl shade and I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. Also thought about going on the inner corner of my eye but then I decided I wanted my eyes to look rounder and larger so I'm going to just pop it at the very center of my eyes. And then I'm going to take the darkest shade with a more delicate fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to pop that on the outer corners really quick. I'm going to intensify this a little bit later as well. Then taking that same blending brush with no additional product, just going to do windshield wiper motions back and forth, make sure everything is still blended. Then I want a little bit more intense brown, so I went with this e.l.f. bronzer in the shade Cabana, and just using a, again, delicate fluffy blending brush. I love the shade that when brown and purple are combined, I think it's so gorgeous. So just kind of add some of that higher than the crease and then blend it out again. And then here I am just using that same brush that I used to apply the liquid eyeshadow, and I'm just going to intensify with that darker shadow both the inner corner and the outer corner. This technique is going to make your eyes appear larger and more round. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm gonna pop on a coat of this CoverGirl 2-in-1 mascara, just so that before false lashes, it has something to kind of blend into. Then the lashes I'm using are the Kiss Lashes. I will link them down below. And then we're going to go straight to the face. We'll come back to the eyes later. The concealers I'm using are the Flower Cosmetics Concealer and the Maybelline um, Dream Lumi Concealer. I'm just going to kind of, again, sloppily put this all over my face and then blend it out with my finger first. And then I'll go in with a beauty blender and then continue to blend it out. This is one of my all-time favorite concealers. It is just amazing for brightening purposes and highlighting and coverage as well. I love it. So 
So now going in with the Dream Lumi, I'm just gonna put this kind of to highlight a little bit more than also under where I would contour. This really emphasizes that contour and it allows you to not apply so much bronzer and still give you that really chiseled cheekbone look. Then to set that, I'm gonna go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit with the shade Banana and Vanilla and a tapered blending brush and just going to set the under eye concealer. This is going to make sure it doesn't crease. It's also going to help brighten it even more. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in just shade 220 with a large kabuki brush and just going to pat this into my skin. Next to contour the face, I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia palette with the shade Java and Fawn. Gonna mix those two together with a Sephora contouring brush and just really focus on chiseling out my cheekbones. I want a fairly strong contour for this, but who am I kidding, I have strong contours every day. Just gonna focus this on the cheekbones. I'm gonna bring it up on the sides of the temple, a little bit on my hairline. I'm gonna take it under my lip to give my lip a more plumpy, pouty look under my nose to make it look shorter, and then on the sides of my nose as well to make it appear slimmer and straighter. Then to bronze up the face, I'm gonna use the Milani Big Blush and Bellissima Bronze. I love contouring and bronzing just because I like to bronze the face to give warmth to the skin, especially during the springtime. And I'm using the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Then for blush, I'm gonna use the Milani Bake Blush in Delicioso Pink. This is a beautiful bubblegum light pink, and I'm just going to use a smaller blush brush to kind of pop this on the apples of my cheeks, but really focusing it, blending it back to the hairline. This gives your skin such a healthy glow. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use a City Color Spotlight Highlight. This is a cream to powder highlight, so I'm just going to dab it on with my fingers, the bridge of my nose, and then the tops of my cheekbones, and my cupid's bow. Then I'm gonna go in with a very small definer brush with that same darker shade, uh, that dark purple shade that we use on the outer portion of our eye to really focus this and get that right into the lash line on the lower lashes. And I'm gonna really focus this on the outer third. Then I'm gonna go in with that CoverGirl mascara again just to kind of even everything out and put some mascara on the bottom lashes. For lips, I'm using one of the Maybelline The Vivids collection. This is in the shade Pink Pop. I used this actually in my last video of my top 10 spring lipsticks. It is my favorite pink lipstick. I think it is so gorgeous. It goes with any skin tone, and it's just a perfect pink. And this is the final look. Alright you guys, so that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!